down. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, sweep the floor, come all the way up, inhale. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. Remember, modify anywhere you need to modify. Amplify anywhere you want to amplify. And one more time, stay down on the next one. Just hold it here, forward fold. Bend your knees, keep your weight forward. Let your head hang down, shift your weight from side to side. And then come back to the center, lengthen your spine. Turn your feet out wide. Drop your hips down in between your legs. And from here, just lunge side to side. So in a low squatting stance, lunge side to side. Hands are still on the floor for three, for two, and for one. Come back to center. Turn to your right side. Take it into a lunge. Lower your left knee. Stretch your right arm up and open. Shoulder stack. Breathe in. Tuck the toes under and lift the knee back up. Inhale. Exhale, right hand down and straighten your front leg. Pull the right hip back, lengthen your spine. And then bend the knee. Walk around through center to the other side. Left leg down, uh, left leg forward, right knee down, lift arm up. Open up the twist. Relax the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift the knee back up off the floor. Inhale, lower your left hand. Exhale, turn it to the center, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your feet in a little closer. Inhale, hands on your thighs, round your back as you exhale. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round and curl and roll all the way up to standing. Good big breath in and we're gonna get started. So we've got four minute cycles. Four exercises, that means we repeat them twice. They're all 20 seconds of work. The first one is a snatch. So from the ground up, we're gonna pick up a weight. Some of you will squat into it, some of you will jump into it, and some of you will just pick it up and snatch it over your head, all right? So not a great name for it, but you know, it is what it is. That's what it's called. We've gotta snatch the right and the left, and then we're going to hold the weight for a goblet squat. After the goblet squat, we go into some hammers, so just some upper body. All right, so a little cardio set. Again, low impact if you want to make it higher impact. It's, of course, up to you. So pick up a moderate to heavier weight. I'm sticking with some low weights because I'm dealing with a little bit of an injury for a change. All right, so let's go. Right arm, snatch in three. Two, cans dancing, two. And one, let's go. Take it down, stretch it up. We work for 20 seconds, we've recovered for 10 of them, or 10 and her. So we've got 10 more seconds on this side. When it's rest time, take rest, guys. Three, two, and rest. Switch arms, you're gonna go right to the other side. All right, in three, two, 10 seconds is not a lot of time. One, let's go. Take it down, stretch it up. So you take it right like you're taking a shirt up off of your head, over your head. Drive through your heels, just make it forceful overhead. Three, two, and rest. Okay, uh, goblet squat, one heavy weight. You can change weights if you want. Hold the weight underneath your chin in three, Two, turn your toes out. One, go 20 seconds. Down and up. Weight back in your heels. You can also do this without weights. You can also do it without a squat and just do a modern, moderate movement. Five more seconds coming up. Three, two, and one. Good. Two weights, hammer time. So pick up your weights in three, Two, go, curl, 20 seconds. Stay on it. Good. You got 10 more seconds. Try not to swing your waist behind you and use your back as well. In three, two, put the weight down. Go back to a single weight snatch. Again, I'm staying a little bit lighter. Right side, then left side in three. Two, 
One. So you just drive right up. Good. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Better get this party started in three, two, one. Good. Straight up. Just drive it right up to the sky. Ten seconds. your goblet squats, holding it under your chin, legs a little wider than the hips, toes out in three, two, go. 20 seconds. Let's get it started. 10 seconds. Get this party started. In three, two, one. You'll need a second weight for the last exercise. You choose the weight, it's hammer curls. In three, two, one. Hinge forward, no swinging of the weights. 10 seconds. You got last five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we got a little break in between and I'll show you the next four exercises. So we've got the cross body chop from right shoulder to left, with or without pivoting, with or without hip dropping, right side, then left side. Then we've just got an alternating lunge. You can make it forward, back, or side, or a tap back, right? So it's a lunge, alternating legs, and then a bent over row with bands, with weights, with whatever your heart desires. All right, here we go. We are going to uh, body, cross body chop is our first exercise. Heavy weights, hold the weight whichever way you'd like to hold it. In three, two, and one. So let's go, cross the body. From shoulder to hip, pivot. Or don't pivot, stay static, it's okay, up to you. You got three, two, and one rest, other side. Hold the weight however you choose. Smile, three, two, let's go. Good, now for your next thing is lunges. You can use weights or no weights, doesn't matter. You choose, you got five seconds coming up. Three, two, and one. All right, alternating lunges, front, back, side. You choose in three, two, I'm just changing my direction in one. All right, let's go. Alternate, right, left, little hinge forward if you're going into that real lunge. Might give you a little bit change of the glute work. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, and one. Put the weight down or pick up a second weight. Bent over rows is next in five seconds. In three, two, let's go. Just keep rowing. You can count your reps. See if you match them next time. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Go back to a single weight for your cross body chop. In three, in two, go. Don't forget to breathe. 10 seconds. Side. 
Just set it up. Same thing, other side in three, in two, and go. Pivot, hit me ankle. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Alternating lunges, front, back, or side, or static in three, two, one. So I'm not using weight, it's okay. I have a little hinge forward, a little bit more accent on the glutes, 10 more seconds. In five seconds, we're gonna pick up our last set of weights in three, two, and one. Last set of weights for bent over rows. Keep your knees bent. Three, two, go. That's it, good. Squeeze the elbows in by your side. 10 more seconds. Feel tension in your neck, let your chin come down. In three, two, one, put your weights down. All right, so next round. It's a lunge with a kick. It's a rear lunge into a front kick and the same leg. Rear lunge into a front kick. Again, if you're not lunging, tap back. No will repeat the other side. If you want to use weights for the punches, right there, and then kickbacks. Bent over position, if you're not doing kickbacks, you can take your arms up over your head, your choice. All right, so let's get started. With or without weights for your lunges, with a front kick. All right, so we go right into it, same side each time. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge back, kick front, same leg. All right, you got 10 seconds. There you go, nice Michelle. My little kickboxers here. Three, two, one. Switch sides, take a few seconds off. You have five seconds more. Left leg is the mover. Three, two, one, let's go. You might feel a little bit less um, stable on one side until your body starts to get used to it. 10 seconds. Nice work, guys. Three, two, one. Now, with or without weights, separate your legs. Punches, sit down low. Three, two, now. Cross the body. Sit low, 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 low. 10 seconds. Yeah, if you're using heavier weights, slow down. Three, two, and one. Pick up your weights for kickbacks. Bend your knees. Hinge forward, elbows back. Three, two, go. Got 20 seconds. Keep the elbows back. Abs in tight. Take your chin to your chest. Let go of tension in your neck. 10 seconds, five seconds, three, two, and one. We're back to the lunges. Right leg is first, or if you want your left leg first, that's okay too. In three, two, one. Lunge, kick. Good, engage your core. Suck it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Switch legs. It's not a long rest. In three, two, let's do it. Lunge, kick. Good, feel the weight into the right hip. Good, guys. Oops. 10 seconds. Three, 
five, three, two, one. Punches, with or without weights. Separate your legs wide. Drop your seat low. Three, two, go. Sit down, sit down. If you're using weights or heavier weights, slow down your movements. Good Lord. 10 seconds. Keep your hips steady, Maria. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Two weights. Kickbacks. Bend your elbows, hinge forward. Three, two, go. Yeah. strong. Hands are guarded. 10 seconds. I'm a little bit um, tender on the side, so I'm not going quite as big as I can on the other side. Three, two, and one. All right, we've got our upright row. One or two way to choose. Elbows and wrists higher than shoulders. Three, two, go. Pull it up. Good. Ten more seconds. Elbows higher than shoulders. Get the arms higher. You yeah. take Three, two, one. Put your weights down. You're more than welcome to hold it. Hands behind your head, down by your side, over your head. Three, two, tick tock, side to side. Try to get your arms, if your hands are behind your head, reach your arms behind your hips. That's good, Karen. Just side to side. No forward, no back. Three, two, and one. Stand up. Right side kick is next. In three, in two, we got 10 seconds as fast. One, go. Good. Don't turn your toe up to the ceiling. Turn your toes towards I'm thinking your camera for most of you. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Switching sides. So remember, don't rotate your hip open. Keep your hips squared closed. Three, two, go. 
So I'm just going to go a little bit lower with my kick for this side. Camera angles are hard to tell for some of you, but it looks like some toes are still up. But five seconds, it could be the angle. Three, two, one. Good. Upright rows. One, two, or no weights. Three, two, go. Up over your elbows, higher than shoulders. Wrists higher than shoulders. Wrists are straight. Don't let them break. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Hands behind your head. Tick-tock or teapot. Sit low. Three, two, go. I'm gonna. Good. Good, Karen. Yeah, we did those the other day, so she's good. Keeping it away from the hip. Five more seconds. You guys roll quick studies. Three, two, and one. All right, we're coming down to the floor. Adjust your cameras, everybody. Most of you, well, some of you, I should say. And I'll even adjust mine a little bit. All right, we're staying on the floor for the next few sets. So we're gonna be in a kneeling position. We're gonna do a rear kick in our kneeling position. So, kick behind you, keep your hips level, don't snap your knee, we've got that right side, left side, and then we've got hydrants on the right side, left side. So you don't need any weights for this set, um, you just need a whole lot of good sense of humor. <laughs> All right, ready to set, right leg behind you in three, two, one. And again, control the movement of the kick. And also think about keeping your right hip down so that you're level in your pelvis. Abs and tight, arms are just supporting you. You can always go to your forearms. You can also do this in a standing position. You got three, two, one. Switch sides in five seconds more. And from here, three. Left leg's working, two. In one, now. The toes that are not working, right, the right foot, you can tuck them on the floor so that you have more stability. Squeeze your glutes. 10 seconds, do not collapse through your spine. Pull your belly up and in. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. You can lie on your side for your hydrants, just do a side lying leg lift, right? Or you can be on your knees or standing. In three, right leg first, two, go. Knee hip height, knee ankle in the same line. Deb, you can just lie on your side and lift your leg up. Yeah, that's what you're saying, stop pressuring me. <laughs> Five, yeah, there you go. Just don't turn the knee up to the ceiling and rest. So don't turn the knee up to the ceiling, keep the knee in line with your hip. In three, left side, two, one, go. Lift it up, hip height. Try to he keep your hips from moving all around. Right toes are tucked under for stability. You got five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, take a little break. You're going back to the right rear kick. If you're not doing that, you can lay on your belly for it. Three, two, go. So the leg doesn't go higher than the hip. Keep it, you know, maybe just a little bit higher. The heel's higher than the hip, but the knee is in line with the hip. 10 more seconds, pull the belly in. No extended spine here, or no arched spine. Three, two, one. Switch sides. So you can tuck the toes under the leg that's not working. In three, two, one, go. Squeeze your glutes. Make it active. Place your foot rather than just throwing it willy-nilly. Five seconds. 
Three, two, one. Going on to your hydrant. I'll turn this way. Right leg first. Three, two, go. Good. Try not to lean into your left side. Try to keep it level. Looking good, guys. Good. Five seconds. And rest. Last round. Doing awesome. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Level out your hips. That's it. Oh, good at our hip work today. Five seconds, you might not think so. Three, two, and one. Sit back. All right. Take some water. You've got a plank. Straight arm or forearm, you choose. All right, so plank is a plank. It's just a straight arm plank. Then we have a forearm plank. So I'm going to probably do this with my legs off of the mat. So I'll turn. Let me do it this way. I'll just move, get my mat halfway. So in your plank, you're going to take your, um, let's say your left forearm down. Forearm plank, one arm up, and we rotate underneath. One side, then the other. And then we're going to go into our bellies for Superman. On your belly, arms and legs. Lift and hold or you can go up and down, right? Or any variations that will work for you, even like a cobra stretch will be okay. All right, so the first thing is a plank, full on plank, two arms straight or bent you choose. The star can also be bent or straight, but I'm gonna go for forearms. Oh, let me just get this going here. All right, here we go, plank, 20 second hold in three, two, one, hold it. Pull the belly in, knees lift up, pelvic floor lifts up, no collapsing in your middle, stay energized through your forearms, you can be on your bench row or on a ball, three, two, and one. All right, let's come on to our left forearm, straighten out your legs or you can have them bent, or one bent even, arm up, all right, let's take it through, rotate underneath. Yeah, keep it moving. 10 more seconds. Rotate the torso, the hip goes under. Five, three, two, and one. Good, I'm just gonna turn myself around for this one. All right, right forearm down. Three, two, one. Rotate under, come back up. Under, back up. So get that rotation of the torso. 10 more seconds. I don't like not facing you. You got three, two, and one. Come all the way down on your belly. Choose how you want to take this last one. Arms and legs or just arms. Let's go. Lift. Now you can hold this. You can have your arms out, extended in front of you, by your side, on the floor. All sorts of options. You got five more seconds coming up. Hold it. In three, two, one. Good. Do a quick child's pose. And then you come back for your plank. Uh, that feels so good. All right. Back to a plank. Three, two. One, I did it on, I think I did it on the forearms before. I'll stay on the forearms. Pull your belly up and in. Knees are lifted, so your quads are tight. Belly in. Lengthen your tailbone. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Right arm down this time. Right forearm down, spin onto your right side. Choose to have one or both knees down. Arm up, let's go. Rotate underneath. Good. Dance and shout. Ten seconds. You're almost there, guys. You got five. Three, two, and one. 
other side. Other side. Left arm down. That's it, Maria. You got it. In three, two, and one. Rotate under, up, under, up, under, up, under. Keep going for 10 seconds. We go onto our belly in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Come all the way down. Last round, super persons. You choose how you want to do it. In three, two, it's an isometric hold. One, hold it. Again, the arms can be anywhere that feels supportive for you, even behind your head. Interlace your fingers. Whatever you want to do, back extension. Lengthen out of your legs. Breathe. You know, we're holding, but not our breath. In three, in two, in one. Lower down, push back to child's pose. And let's take the child's pose over to the right side at this moment. And take it over to the left side. All right, come on back into the center. Come up to your hands and knees to take yourself onto your backs. Final set that we're gonna do today. Again, one, two, three, four, seven sets. Okay, so seven different sets of exercises. So we're gonna have um, a bridge. In your bridge, we're gonna alternate knee lifts towards the chest or marches. The hips don't come down. They're going to drop naturally, so keep pressing down to lift up. Then we're going to do a one or two arm weight pull up, pull over. Pull all the way over your head and come back to center. We'll sit up for a um, twist. And then we're going to have boat pose, bent knee or straight leg, if you choose. All right? All right, don't worry about it. If you like your bridges, with a weight on your hips, take a heavy weight on your pelvis. Your arms will have to hold it. Lay on your back. Final set. You got four minutes of work going. All right. In three, in two, lift your hips up. Bridge marches. So lift the knees up. Abs are tight. Good. Keep going. 10 seconds. Keep lifting your hips up. Keep reminding yourself that they're gonna drop in three, two, and one. Good, now one or two ways for a pullover. Arms go all the way over your head behind you. In three, two, go. So you can have your legs down, legs up. You could be in that bridge still. The arms come all the way over your head. The elbows stay in one position and it's moving from the shoulder. Yeah, you can add your abdominals in there as well. Five more seconds. Three, two, good. Bring it to a sitting or position. Hold on to your weight. We've got twists right from here. Legs up or down. Again, your choice in three, two, go. Twist, twist, twist. So we can run. Touch the floor each side. Or you can bring your elbows back behind you and touch with your elbows. Five more seconds coming up. Three, two, and one. Leave your weights down. Now, you can come to your forearms. You can even lay on your back. Or you can rest on your tailbone. In three, two, go. So either you have a bent knee, a straight leg, arms can hold, arms can let go, Hold it here for 10 seconds. It's a long time for your hips. Long time for your abs. Lift your chest, don't sink. Good rope. You got three, two, one. Back on your back for your bridge marches. Lift your hips in the air in three, two, hips up. One, good, alternating legs. I started with my other leg just to give it equal time in case I don't get a chance to take that leg up again. Keep lifting your hips up. Five more seconds. Three, two, 
One, good. Take your heavy weight for your pullover. Choose how you want to do that in three, two, go. All the way over. You can add your crunch. You could add your legs moving in and out. You choose what you want to do today. Every day doesn't have to be the same, by the way. Five seconds, just because you did it yesterday doesn't mean you have to do it today. And because you didn't do it today doesn't mean you can't do it tomorrow. In three, two, sit up. Into your twists. In three, two, and one, go. The beauty of what we do is that we don't have to do the same thing every day. Even if it's the same exercise. Or, you know, in yoga. Just because you, you know, floated your hands one day doesn't mean you have to float them each time you do that. In three, in two, in one. Put the weight down. Lean back to your degree on your forearms, on your back, or just sitting on your tailbone. In three, two, legs up. Start with a bent leg. And then choose how you want to take this, with or without arms, straight leg or not. Lift out of your torso. Hold on, breathe. Come on, you only got five seconds. Four, three, two, reach up tall, tall, tall. One, let go of your legs. Ooh. Come on to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, Siri, not available. Okay. Hug your knees all the way up to your chest. Cross your right knee over your left. Hi, Daisy. You're getting prime uh, TV time here. Hug your hips in, tailbone on the floor. Open your arms to a T, shift your hips right, let your knees fall over to the left side. Twist. I cross your legs, come back to the center. Left leg over right, grab ankle, shins, or toes. Open your arms to a T, shift your hips left, and let your knees fall open to the right side, over to the right side. So a little pick-me-up for the beginning of the week. Get your heart rate up, uncross the legs, nothing uh, plyometric. Just keep yourself in that well-grounded space. All right, take your feet to happy baby. Open your knees wide, feet to the ceiling, tailbone on the floor. Draw the knees on the outside of the rib cage and breathe. Open your legs into a, a, long, a wide straddle. Keep your tailbone down. Hold on anything but your knees. Draw your hands outside the legs, bring them together. Bring the knees in again. Roll up or roll to your side to come up. Straighten out your leg, bend your right knee. Left leg bent, uh, straight, right leg bent. Hold on to your shin and lift up your chest. Turn the toes up to the sky. Inhale. Left arm around the left thigh or left shin, right arm behind you. Get a twist and if you want it deeper, take your arm outside. Good, inhale, come back to the center, and switch legs. Bend your left knee, hold on to the shin, sit up nice and tall, and stay there, or take your left arm behind you, right arm up and outside the leg if you'd like. Good, inhale, come back to center. Release your left leg out in front of you. Adjust the flesh. Sit up tall. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward and take your hands towards your feet. They may or may not touch. Keep your spine long, so no rounding in your back. Shoulders back, bring your chest forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale, come back up. Swing your legs around to either side. Come to your hands and knees. Tabletop position, cat cow. Arch your back and then round your back. And then come to neutral. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Bend one knee, then the other. Walk your hands back to your feet. 
Forward fold, head down. Take your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, take the palms up and over your head. Let go, shake out your neck, yes and no. Tuck your chin to your chest, press firmly through your legs. Roll yourselves up to standing up. Roll the shoulders back and around. Take a big breath in, bring your arms overhead. Empty the breath and you are all done. Give yourselves a big hand. At home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.